constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The 12th General Assembly of the Asian Forum of Parliamentarians on Population and Development commenced under the theme Engaging Parliamentarians Pursuing Human Development under the patronage of Minister of Special Assignment Dr. Saratam Nugama. Members of Parliament from 24 Asia-Pacific countries took part in the Assembly. Addressing the gathering, Minister Dr. Sarata Munugama discussed ways to develop welfare and social justice in the Asia-Pacific region, citing Sri Lanka as an example for positive progress on the issue. We are not only large in terms of population, but also we are some of the most uh, deprived and some of the most backward when it comes to looking after women, youth and children. So it is very important that at this stage that representatives of the people who are closest to these issues, particularly at village and town level, makes up their mind and adds their voice on the side of the poor and the deprived. Many of developing countries can look to the Sri Lankan example because we now deal with a very fundamental issue which is highlighted in the development process. That is the role of social justice and social equity in development. Unless a country is committed to social justice for all, social equity for all, democracy for all, that itself will be an impediment to growth. You can have growth without democracy, but that growth will not last. It is very important that the representations of the people through you find its way into the life and population and development policies of that country. So in the heart of that struggle for social justice is the emphasis we place on women, on youth and on children. In Sri Lanka, we have taken many meaningful steps. Today, if you look at our university system, our public service, the majority are women. Because that is a culmination of a long process of commitment to social equality and social justice that can only come through a system of parliamentary or other form of democracy. So you are having this meeting in Sri Lanka, a country which has emerged from a debilitating war, but now during the last seven or eight years is one of the safest places on earth at a time when the world is very unsure 